Welcome PokeFam and in this video it's happening yet again. That's right, I'm still chasing it, I'm still hunting it, none under than the Moombryon. I want it. I haven't got it yet. I've opened up a ton of Evolving Skies and just been striking out. Not even a really good Altars from the Eevees either. So today I am diving into this booster box and I'm hoping my luck will change. So let's get right at this today. So this is an ETB from Costco. You can still get them. We picked these up just recently. We picked a few of these up. So like I'm telling everybody, don't be paying insane prices right now for Evolving Skies. Because for some reason, Costco just keeps getting these for $54.99 Canadian. It comes with a tin. So the prices are normal. Do not pay high-end prices for this stuff because you're overpaying right now. And we don't know if Costco is preluding to another release of Evolving Skies. Because at the end of the day, Evolving Skies puts out another print run. Before, uh, before Scarlet and Violet, low prices are going to come crashing down. All right, let's dive right in. Getting these sleeves rolled up a little because I am serious today. I need something good out of this. I've been building this binder for a while and I have been striking out. But that just goes to show what a great set this is. Even striking out, we always seem to be coming back to this set. Because this set is pretty amazing. Alright, starting off with Water Energy. We have a Gordy. We have a Spirit Mask. We have a Lantern. We have a Drowsy. We have a Mareep. We have a Deweeble. We have a Carnivore. We have Flavivay. Our Reverse Hollow is the Vigoroth. Because we know no Trainer Galleries, no Radiance, and Evolving Skies. And for our Rare, it is a Pinsir non Hollow. Alright, starting off a little weak. Let's dive back in, do another Sylveon, see what we can get out of this one. Can we get something better? Well, that is a very, very good sign right there. Black code card, can't go wrong. All right, what are we going to get out of this? Starting off with, I think I see something back there, water energy. We have a treasure energy. We got a lantern. We got a Fletchinder. We got a Pumpkaboo. We got Pikachu. We got a Pedal. We got a Slackoth hanging in there. Hitmonchan. We got a Reverse Hollow Eevee. Is that a good sign? Is that a good sign? We got a Rayquaza V. I guess I didn't specify someone at the altar Rayquaza V. Alright, well. At least we did get a V out of this and just not strike out on all hollows. That would just be awful. So let's get a sleeve. Sleeve that up. So there is a Rayquaza hit, one of many that I already have. All right, diving into the Umbreon. Can we see a black coat card out of this? Absolutely not. All right, so we are one black for three. So we are. Stay in the course. All right, starting off with a dark energy. We have an aroma lady. We got a Boldor. We got a Tentacruel. We got a Hippopotas. We got a Dweeble. We have a Love Disc. We got Wobbuffet. We got a Mareep. All right, reverse high, uh, hollow is Dino. And for a final card is a Liligant non hollow rare. All right, set that off to the side as well. All right, dear Ludon, Gigantamax, let's go. Can you produce something for us? Can you give us something amazing? Nope, not going to happen there. All right, can I always hope for an error. Starting off with Leaf Energy, then we have Crustal. We got Palpitoad. We got Digging Gloves. Gossifleur, we have a Woobat, we have a Molga, we have Lotad, we got Rufflet, Reverse Hollow is a Chinchow, and I doubt there's anything back there. We have a Gigalith, non-rare Hollow. Now, Evolving Skies was a great print run. I didn't see too many errors in there. So, all right, diving in to Rayquaza. 
We did pull one Rayquaza. All right. I'd even take the Rayquaza Altar right now. You know, going for $375, that is a huge, huge card. Don't get me started on the Moonbrion. One, two, three, four. But it's amazing how well this set has held its value compared to other sets. I mean, it is just crazy. All right, starting off with an Ursa Ring. We have a Scrafty. We got a Rescue Carrier. We got a Flubabay. We got a Drowsy. We got a Rufflet. We got a Psyduck. We got a Zorura. A Reverse Rare is a Kraganol. And is there anything back there? There is just a Kiram Hollow. That is all. All right. We have three packs left. Is there the chance of a black in there? We already pulled two. Two. Can we be on the luck side and get the third black in the last two? Well, that would be pretty awesome. Not going to be this pack. Two, three, four. Let's go see what we get. Starting off with a fighting energy. We got a Hippodon. We have a Toy Catcher. Sun and Moon Badge. We have a Bergmite. We have a Nicket. We got a Lillipop. Hippopotas. And we have a Feebass. Now for a Reverse Hollow it is a Shiftry Reverse Hollow. And for our rare it is a Shifty Non Hollow Rare. Well, there's both for the set, even though I already have them. All right, we have two packs left. Going with Duraludon once again. Can we get something out of this? Let's go. I want to see one more black. There it is. There is one more black. Put that off to the side. However, is there anything going to be back there? Uh, I don't see anything peeking. All right, starting off with a Psychic Energy. Then we have a scroll of the Fang Dragon. We have Herdier. We got a Golduck. We got a Dino. We have Jin Chow next. We got a Squall Blue. Flava Bay. Rog and Rolla. Love that name. Always saying it. Rog and Rolla. Reverse Hollow. Stormy Mountains. Is there something back there? Glarian Articuno Hollow. All right. Can we get some last pack magic? Let us see. You know, I've opened up more of this set in Sword and Shield than any other. And even though I do love this set, man, the hits are hard to get. They are so hard, and it is not going to happen in this one either. But that is how it goes. You know what? If we did get the hits out of this, this set wouldn't be as collectible as it is. And it just goes to show you don't need to amp up the pull rates to get people to like a set. It's just got to have good artwork and good cards. And with that, people will love the set. All right, we have Sableye. We got an Applin. We got a Cutie Fly. We got a Time Pole. We have an Eevee. We got a Nicket. And for a rare, we have a Flapple non hollow rare. Some days you win, some days you lose, and today you see why we call this Evolving Cries. Only one Rayquaza V at the end of the day. Not as good as my last Costco box that I opened myself. Man, that was some fire hits, but unfortunately, that's the odds. One Rayquaza. One lowly Rayquaza. Still love this set though, and I'm not going to give up the chase. So stay tuned for more because I will be opening up more Evolving Skies. I know it's getting harder to get, but I will try and get more to keep it on hand so we can open it. Hope you're enjoying my videos lately. I'm doing shorts as well, so check them out. And as always, this is Pokedad saying, don't forget to brush your teeth and wash behind your ears.